Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm thinking to share with you my thoughts about the Palmer, the most hype premium battleship in this year 2020 and most of the big youtubers know Zope for you and many others they say literally that this ship is a beast and especially in rank uh, sprint or you know three versus three but you know let's say there's two options you can purchase this ship one it's of course with doubloons or real money you pay with your visa credit card you name it i believe it will cost over 65 something us dollars something like that roughly could be uh, close to 70 however the chance that you want to purchase this one probably most of you guys it's with coal now let's talk about coal the coal it's of course guy a very important um, uh, currency of many reason you're not just uh, able to purchase the ships but also some badass commanders as well there's uh, you know some overpower commanders they perform the whole ship become way way better i'm talking about kutuzov the kuznetsov and of course also the um, german super commander available for whopping 175,000 coal so guys if you're doing the map let's say let's say if you want to purchase this ship how many containers do you actually need well if you're like let's say very unlucky dude and i'm talking about 171,000. if you use the coupons well you roughly need more than 400 containers uh, let's say if if each container only gives you one single uh, resource like 400 you know so that it's absolutely ridiculous let's say if you're lucky that you uh, receive uh, 400 and 400 in one single container a day yes you can uh, technically open three containers each and every day that it's true but you still need 213 uh, containers to uh, gain this ship for 171,000 coal with the coupon and of course if you let's say uh, give me a thought if you you know um, have extreme luck that some containers uh, you have uh, um, option to open like uh, 1600 uh, coal or sorry 1200 coal it's of course you still uh, you need a uh, roughly uh, 100 containers so it's still a lot guys no matter what how you figure out 100 containers it's roughly close to one hundred days of course guys the easiest way to uh, gain those uh, uh, call it's to place uh, different kind of uh, missions um, like odin's missions like sprint ring like rank battle and so on so in different kind of missions also you receive some extra bonus and final reward could be you know 10,000 coal or so so it's definitely gonna help you however a small uh, uh, um, information from me if you are in a clan each and every time you open a container you just not receive a flat 400 let's say you, you know, open a container and you receive one um, spot with 400 coal if you are in a clan no matter what clan you are you have additional clan bonus so all members who are in a clan they actually receive more than exactly 400 so it, it is a um, small bonus for everyone who has a clan uh, involved and so on but guys yes this ship it's definitely in my honestly opinion a good one 
I don't own her, as you see, I still have it her, but I um, <laughs> have the Freddy the Great. The big difference is, of course, guys, it's that this ship versus Freddy the Great has torpedo, hydro, and crazy good secondary. And you know that it's true. Uh, no zoop for you mentioned that who the heck needs a, a good accuracy of the guns when you um, oh, this is actually a perfect Bismarck and uh, the whole German battleship line it's absolutely a fun 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 ship and something else again and, and there is kind of important to mention the German battleship will be much stronger in the near future they are the strongest the toughest and this ship is absolutely broken in three ways uh, you know let's say any other nation they don't have this crazy good hydro and crazy good secondary and something else i kind of forgot and very important to mention those secondary will hurt because they will pen 38 millimeters without afhe those 150 millimeters guns they pen 38 millimeter which basically means that besides some soviet overpowered armor sh uh, battleship they will pen most ships everywhere uh, and that's very nice for a war gaming that you send another battleship line the u.s super super slow colorado class battleship which they have 32 millimeters everywhere besides uh, some downside part here so guys literally um, the german are by far the toughest one to kill the strongest secondary and now we're going to decide to give her this particular ship um, hydro and torpedoes yeah you don't have crap AA, I mean 71 in AA without any much. And remember guys, this is kind of hilarious. If you build everything for uh, for secondary, you buff already in the same uh, spot your AA as well. Because you put BFT, advanced fire and training and stuff like that. And voila, you have 11 point... Uh, 78 kilometers range of your secondary and the secondary to everything which is under 38 millimeters of armor and there is pretty much everyone besides some soviet overpower ships but what i'm trying to say and this is also important the submarines will come um, don't get me wrong they are kind of a slow they are on a target but if you compare the German uh, battleship line versus uh, US or any other nation, remember they don't have hydro. And of course you can still be black, but remember guys, and this is kind of important, you have crazy good um, um, hydro, one of the best hydro in this game, and many times you have the opportunity to purchase, uh, uh, let's go back to for... Uh, you have opportunity to purchase this super strong hydro and I do highly highly recommend you to do it uh, additional hydro time it's absolutely a must-have and I very much like to say guys from my bottom of my heart it's good for the game that uh, palmers exist because force you to come closer you're not a slava long he uh, uh, and ap um, uh, uh, long distance um, or uh, some other battleship republic long 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 range sniper you need to come close and that makes this ship in my honestly opinion um, a, a good value you need to come close you need to brawl you need to show uh, you know the, the the spare of the of the target i i believe that guys uh, without saying too much that um, sure the dumb saw of the german battleship is the accurate it's a mech but guys when you are close very darn close you still are pretty damn crazy strong uh, ship and it's very hard to kill very hard to kill and I, I very much like to say that for me guys seriously 
um, thunder and conquer it's not good for the game and in some ways even uh, Borgone why it's because they are most likely to um, to play effective you need to stay the hell away from the middle stay uh, away from anyone and then anything and you're like a selfish bastard that's what you are in a Palmer and Bismarck and Fred the Great and of course all Germans they shine when they are close and when when the secondary chew the enemy up left and right and that's really nice and seriously guys i do love and i do recommend you to play the german battleship better than anything else don't get me wrong i do have a lot of fun with other ship like uh, georgia but georgia also have a crazy secondary the thing uh, makes the Georgia biggest difference between the Palmers and Georgia it's actually the armor you think that Georgia has gr uh, great armory I, I do believe you're wrong uh, you have to stay completely bow on and same story with the French one guys the most popular uh, French uh, battleship they are all good and great but they do not uh, have great secondary beside the destroyers you know and by the way guys <laughs> I honestly believe that the, the destroyer have a much much harder time to do well when there's hydro everywhere of course in the near future the um, uh, submarine will come so they do have something to uh, chase and kill and that it's of course the submarine but overall guys I let me know in a comment below something else before I gonna uh, end this it's of course this hydro search would cost 17,000 coal it's literally a must have for all German battleships and uh, and guys good luck with gaining those valuable um, coal I believe guys they, without saying too much I have a, a huge damn a problem because the commanders guys those badass commanders it cost whopping as almost as much as a tier 9 ship and the truth is guys this dude and this dude literally uh, are uh, crazy strong and um, I don't know what to say it's hard to gain those 175,000 coal it's not easy you know what I mean and it takes ages to play long 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 time uh, and oh, oh, for me it's actually a little bit overpriced remember guys this is only a 10 points captain so if you uh, let's say purchase this ship you kind of will need to level up or have enough with elite commander experience to level up from 10 to 19 on the other hand if you have let's say two premium battleship or any German uh, sh premium ships you can level up this captain pretty easy if you let's say in one day you swap this captain from let's say a German cruiser premium to a battleship and heck even a carrier premium one uh, like Rep uh, Zeppelin could work but you mess up with uh, the um, commander's uh, uh, build so it's ca probably not the best not the best so probably a German battleship it's absolutely the best thing if you still want to put this captain let's say on Palmers I do believe this captain with Palmers makes the very strong ship hell even stronger and probably the same story here with the Krems captain and many others uh, most overpowered captains uh, they are called captains you know what I mean so let me know guys in a comment below what you think about this new meta and actually guys I seriously like it I do like this um, uh, type of uh, game maybe n not does not f uh, fit all of you but overall guys I very much like to say it's a lot of fun I do not own uh, Poner yet but I do have Odin so Odin crazy not a good 
you know secondary monster however uh, i do still f feel that uh, the odin it's a crazy strong battleship in right hand and same story she has uh, torpedo hydro and pretty damn good secondary of course for its only tier 8 let me know guys in a comment below um, to help other uh, players to gain as much coal as possible give or uh, write down tips and tricks tips uh, how the heck you you gain as much coal each and every day for 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 uh, random battles which tier should you play and what kind of game uh, modes can you gain most of those uh, very uh, shall i say important and hard to get those um, coal amount of coal because there's a lot of coal ships and you know uh, modules and of course captains so everyone needs coal you you can never have too little of coal you know what i mean especially if you let's say want to purchase a tier 9 ship and a commander oh man you need roughly more than 350,000 coal to do it you know what i mean so that will take a lot of time and a lot of uh, type of game modes to gain those uh, amount of coal resource so guys that's all for today subscribe to my channel and let me know in a comment below how did you do uh, to you know receive those uh, amount of coal necessary for your purchase have a good one take care and bye